Music scores, records, and furniture from different periods of He's life are on display at the exhibition. Video and books also show the life of the musician and his artistic achievements. By scanning this QR code, visitors will be able to hear Buffalo Boys' Flute, a piano song created by He in 1934. With this song, He became the first Chinese composer to gain fame globally by winning a contest sponsored and judged by the Russian composer Alexander Cherepnyan. Born in Hunan Province, he started composing music for Chinese movies in the 1930s. My classmates and I just went to visit He's hometown in summer. As a student vocalist, his spirit of pursuing music and art until his death is an inspiration. A concert was also held by teachers and students from the Shanghai Conservatory of Music to commemorate He, who was appointed director of the university in 1949. He kept the post until his retirement in 1984. The main concert hall at the university, the oldest of its kind in China, is named after him. Art and music are not only for professionals, but for the public and all of society. This is why music composition has to be easy to understand, as it is going to arouse people's emotions more easily. This is why we have opened our campus to the public last year, so that people can walk into the university to feel the charm of music. The exhibition's name "Truth" comes from the Chinese Bao Zhen, the alias that He gave to himself, representing a spirit of chasing truth his whole life. He's best-known work includes "Song of the Four Seasons" and "Wandering Songstress." Both composed for the 1937 movie *Street Angel* and sung by Zhou Xuan. Zhang Yue, Shanghai Life.